at the 2020 Arnold Classic here with the back-to-back -back winner of the Women's Physique Championship here at the Arnold Classic, Natalia Coelho. Natalia, congratulations on your win. Thank you, thank you so much. It's an honor, you know, to be not only once but twice here, so very, very happy. So you and I spoke after the Olympia and you came in third, you expressed disappointment, but you told me that you had some homework to do. You were going to talk to the judges, you were going to try to figure out exactly what kind of a look they're looking for you to bring. From that, what were some of the biggest things you brought to this stage that you could say were as a result of some of that work you put in? Yeah, so after the Olympia, um, I did 100% of what they told me to do. So they want to see more balance in my physique, upper and lower body. So I did that, I focused on that. I didn't get any bigger on my back. I actually like went a little bit down. And the main thing that I think was the thing that most helped me tonight was my conditioning. So I didn't come as hard. I was not trying, you know, I was trying to hide the striations a little, a little bit. And I talked to Sandy and Steve after the show, to Tyler as well, Tamer. Talked to pretty much all the judges because I, I know it's like first place, but we always want to know what they're thinking, right. what can we do to look even better. So they said they really like the physique that I brought, the adjustments that I made, so I'm very happy for that. When you look at your look from last year at the Arnold Classic to the Olympia to this, what, what, year to year, show to show, what do you look at in terms of, all right, this is something that I need to prove on, this is something that I just need to, to bring my absolute best package to the stage? Well, the Arnolds last year, um, they told me I could have a little bit more arms, so I was fo focusing on upper body. But this was a little mistake that I did because I focused so much on my back that my upper body was not as proportional. Like, when you look at the whole package... I think I focus too much on my upper body. So I think like every year is different, you know, sometimes you are focusing on one body part and you ended up kind of like penalizing the other because you're not focusing as much or whatever. So you gotta be careful with that and just listen to your coach, your, you know, to the judges and see. This, this, this has been a journey for you over the last three, four years. You switch from figure because again, the feedback that you receive from the judges, uh, do you feel as if you found a home here in women's physique? And if so, what is it about this division that you feel like suits you, suits you the best, and suits your future potential? I think it's because it's like a mixture. You can like have enough muscle to the point, like at least in my view, it's a good amount of muscle. I like to have muscles. And you can still be feminine. You can still like, it's just like the overall balance, you know, and the presentation and more time on stage. I love wearing heels, but being like, you know, not in heels on stage is also nice. So I thought I was not going to like women's physique at first. But after my first time as a women's physique, I'm like, okay, I think I can do that. So I'm very happy to be as a woman's physique now. Yeah, I feel like whenever we talk to you, we always bring up the obvious question, right? Well, what is it going to take now with Shanique Grant and what kind of improvements? Do you look at it, take us inside your mind, do you look at this from a perspective of, bringing the best you, or do you look at the competition? Do you care about the competition? How do you weigh that when you start to look at look ahead to September? To be honest, I don't really look. Sometimes I don't even like getting the social media to be like comparing myself to anybody else. Because at the end of the day, uh, they are not me, I'm not them. I will never look like her, she will never look like me. Mm. I have one frame, I have one shape, one physique, one genetics, she has another one. So it's just like, I gotta bring my best, and she will bring hers, so we will see like what my best looks comparing to her. And also because my physique is very different than most of them, and Shanique has a very nice X frame as well. So I just think like if you try to play somebody else's game, you're not gonna bring your best package, you know. So you gotta focus on you and see. You know, it's up to the judges at the end of the day, so. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask you, but obviously in 2020, Miss Olympia is returning to the stage. Now, Dave Palumbo, I know I teased you with the idea of considering it when it was with the Rising Phoenix and with all the cash prizes, with all the you know glamour of the show that they did such a great job with. Is that something that even teases you a little bit, something sits in the back of your mind, or do you say to yourself, I have blinders on, I'm staying in women's physique? Well, um, that's one of the reasons why I made the adjustments to, you know, step back 
and fit the criteria of women's physique because I really want to stay in women's physique. I love the category. I want to represent with all my heart and I want to be like the, I would say like the one that everybody is like trying to look like, you know, like the ultimate champion, the ultimate like women's physique representative. But um, I don't, I don't really see myself as a female bodybuilder. I do I really respect and admire them because I was so happy when Jake Wood announced like the, the comeback of yeah. the, the Miss Olympia. I'm like, oh my God, that's what we need. We need someone like Jake to bring back all the old school physiques, all these girls who worked so hard and they just didn't know where to go. There's no Olympia anymore for them anymore. But now we do have it. We have it back and I'm just like so excited to see how it's going to be this year. But I don't think I would be going to to female bodybuilding. Now, what's the plan? Uh, do you shut it down? Do you look straight ahead to the Olympia? And, and I guess aside from com competing, what's next? Again, you now have back-to-back -back Arnold Classic Women's Physique titles, uh, appearances, travel. What's in the works from the bodybuilding perspective? Um, I love like promoting bodybuilding. To me, if I could, I would be going everywhere. Every weekend, I would be somewhere talking about it or at least like attending events and showing my love and spreading that, that out. But um, I don't know yet. I have to sit down and really focus and plan out my the rest of the year. I don't know if I will be competing before the Olympia or not. Probably after the Olympia, I have a show in mind. But we'll see, you know, like my focus as of now was to finish school, finish my courses, come to the Arnold and I try to take like one go at a time so we don't get overwhelmed and don't like lose your focus. So now let's see what's going to come next. Well, there you have it. Back to back Arnold Classic Women's Physique titles. Natalia Coelho, Natalia, congratulations again on the win and thank you so much for the time. Thank you. Thank you, guys.